behind you. Right there. Okay. Look there. Is it on? Now, I want to talk to you, but I'm not entertaining any offers today. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, well, since you're my new landlord, what do you want to talk about? Well, look, I came here to tell you that I can get more for this place by marking it fake it. So investors will buy it and flip it, you know what I mean? So I don't want to talk about any little measly offers to buy or pay rent or anything like that. That does nothing for me. I'm not here to fix any problems in the house. Crazy. I just want you out of here. Well, well, well. Listen, listen, listen. I own this place now. Don't listen to me. You, li you listen to me, buddy. I own this place now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be here to fight with you. Yeah, that, that sounds tough, but You know, I, I own this place now, and the law gives me the right to evict you, no questions asked. We can fight in court, but in the end, your home is my property, and the law's on my side, and you know, you can get your city life friends and do all your chants and your holding up your signs and all of that. But we know a way around that. Well, who, who, who said it? I, I don't even know about that. Well, I see the signs on a couple of uh, your windows, and I know what that is, but we're not scared of those guys. We know how to get around them. We figured, we figured them out. Oh, you figured them out? Yeah, we figured them out. Okay, well, we're going to definitely have a fight. Okay. Right, so well, I, uh, you'll be seeing me soon. Yeah, you'll be seeing me. Yeah, okay. A lot. This whole street will be seeing me. We're going to wipe this whole street out. That's my dog. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, hi, big landlord. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm not behind on my rent. Are you finally here to inspect the conditions of this apartment? I'm really worried about the leak in my ceiling. Well, no, not really. Actually, I came to let you know that I've noticed how the foreclosed buildings on this block have been emptied out and sold off to new owners. What a great deal for us investors. Woo! Slap on a new coat of paint, granite countertop, and presto, you can get double your rent. So it got me thinking, you've been living here for a long time. 15 years, and that's how long this carpet has been disintegrating. <laughs> but your rent hasn't kept up with the market. <laughs> that would be normal for me. <laughs> I'd be like, say you buddy. Go ahead. Well, anyway, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to pay a $500 increase Ooh. starting, let me look at my, the time, uh, next month. What? Are you crazy? My paycheck has to go in up $500 a month, and you haven't put any money into this building to make it more valuable. Hey, the market is the market. Look at those houses down the street. They're renting at $800 more than you pay me. If you don't like it, move, leave. And by that I mean if you won't pay the increase, then the law gives me the right to evict you. No questions asked. You got that? Yeah, we can fight in court, but in the end, your home is my property, and the law is on my side. I'm going to fight like this. this. There has to be a better way. It is. See your way out. Hello? Who is it? You know who it is. <laughs> oh. You again? Hi, Mr. Landlord. Crazy weather we've been having it, haven't we? Boy, I'm glad my kids had a roof over their head this winter. We had to protest budget cuts, but Section 8 tenants held onto our vouchers this year. How do you like the garden we planted outside? I'm allergic to tomatoes. <laughs> anyway, I didn't come to talk about all your radical politics. I came to tell you that I've reviewed the, ends, reviewed the rents in this area, and your piddling little Section 8 voucher just isn't cutting it anymore. You know I could be getting $400 more a month if I rented this place to students or professionals? 
Well, I can't let that slide. I went, your, I went to your Section 8 agency and got them to approve the rent increase, so uh, you can pay up or get out. Wait, what? I qualify for Section 8 because my family is low income. I already, I'm already paying 30% of what I earn for the rent. Where on earth am I going to find another $400 a month? Look, I, I don't know, but that's not my problem. Look, it's nothing personal. It's, it's just business. If you can't come up with the extra, then get ready to find a new place. Because the law gives me the right to evict you. No questions asked. We can fight in court, but in the end, your home is my property, and the law is on my side. I'm going to fight this, but there has to be a better way. We'll see. Just cause eviction. Hey, that gives me an idea. I see housing and rents, I see housing rents and property values going up all around me. I bet the storefronts that my tenants operate their businesses out of are worth a lot more than they pay me. I bet I could get rid of them with a couple of, you know, eviction notices and get in some new merchants who won't cramp my style with their bodegas and their low-rent clientele. Hey, that gives me an idea. That old building with seven stories high and all those apartments, it doesn't fit in this new, changing neighborhood. And those housing developments, they cost a lot to repair. The government keeps cutting money for the poor people, I mean, cutting money for housing. The government, I'm sure the management is starving for money. And if I make just a little bit of an offer, he's going to take it. So he can move all those folks out. Now, I know the people there may, may not have any place to go. They may have to move out of town. The families may have to be split up. But I don't care. That's not my problem. I'm only worried about the bottom line. Hey, that gave me an idea. This neighborhood is up and coming. The grant I got from the federal government to subsidize this rent of my low income tenants, I would, well, I know I said I would, I would keep the apartment affordable for 30 years. But, sure, I could get way more money <laughs> if I convert it into a luxury housing. I'm calling my lawyer right now, telling him, do whatever it takes. Spring me from this contract. Who cares about those people living here now? I'm in the business. To make money. <laughs> the real estate values swing up and down, but that doesn't help me hold on to my house. I can barely keep up with these property taxes. There gotta be a better way. I want to raise my family in the neighborhood I grew up in, but even though I work full time. I can't afford to rent, let alone buy anything around here. Where will I end up? There has to be a better way. legitimate reasons for evicting the tenant, I guess we might as well talk about that. Okay, I got your check right here. And I got some issues that I want you to take care of ASAP. Yeah, all right. Just send us, put it in the mail or something. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> See you later, buddy. I know it will work. 
I knew it had to be a better way. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs>